Hey guys, what's going on? It's Blade again from Car Audio Security, and today we're looking at four brand new Kenwood Singledon head units. Okay, so this is the 2022 range of brand new Kenwood Singledon head units, starting from 110 pounds up to 190 pounds. So this is gonna be a quick overview of the differences between them and rough price points. So we're gonna start off with the cheapest one and work our way up. Okay, so the first one we've got here, this is the KDC BT460U. So this is their most affordable option on the range that we're looking at today. This is 110 pounds. So I'm gonna quickly run through the specs and what comes in the box. This has Bluetooth streaming, hands-free calls, USB, aux, a CD player. It's also got an internal 50 by four amplifier, a single rear or sub switchable pre-out and a single line display with red illumination. So this is a good option for someone that's not looking to spend too much money, but looking for a good quality, good spec stereo by a very well-known brand. Um, it's gonna last you a long old time, as most people that have ever had a Kenwood stereo will know these last a long, long time. Um, as well as that, you've got the mod cons of everything you would ever really need, to be honest. You've got the Bluetooth streaming, hands-free calls. You've got lots of audio adjustment as well. If you're looking for good audio, you've got 13 band EQ built into this, as well as the 50 by four amplifier, which I've already mentioned. So your audio is gonna be greatly increased just by swapping this into the vehicle. So if this one isn't quite what you fancy and you want something a little bit better, let's look at the next one and this might be the one for you. So here we have the next model up. This is the KDC BT665 U. So this unit is 10 pound more expensive, so 120 pounds, but this also gives you a 1.5 line display. So as you can probably see here, it's basically a tiny little bit longer on the, on the depth, but this is an RGB display, so you can completely customize the color of this. It's not just set to red. Um, and this also has two two and a half volt RCAs. So you have a front and a rear and sub switchable pre-out on the back there. But other than that, it's exactly the same spec as the last unit. So if this is something you'd be interested in, it's only 10 pound more expensive. The components inside the box are exactly the same as well. So if this unit isn't quite enough, if you're looking for something that's got maybe DAB radio, let's look at the next one. Right, so this is when stuff gets a bit more interesting. So this is the KDC BT760 DAB. Now, as you'll probably know from the part number, this is a DAB unit, meaning you have digital radio. Now, the only downside to digital radio is if your vehicle didn't have it previously, you'll need an additional aerial, but Kenwood have got your back with that. Included in the box is the DAB antenna. So it's a very, very good unit. As well as DAB, this also has Amazon Alexa built in. So if you have any Amazon products at home or in the vehicle, you can compare, uh, work them with the unit. So that's very, very handy. So the spec on this is, is exactly the same as the previous unit. Same pre-outs, same kind of display, uh, everything else is the same, but this unit is coming in at 170 pounds. So that's for your DAB included antenna and the Amazon Alexa. So if you're not sure on the benefits of DAB, if you've not had it before, I'll be completely honest, it's in another league compared to FM. For one, you have so many more channels. You can get your know, like Capital Extra, Kistory, all those kind of channels. But the clarity of the radio station is much, much better. You don't have that crackling and fizzing out all the time. Obviously it's not 100%, but the quality of the radio is so much better. So the contents inside the box are the same. You get your mic, you get your instructions, you get your removal keys. Uh, the only physical difference on the back of the unit is the antenna input for the DAB antenna and the aerial input is a bit different as well. It's like a tube style, um, but that's pretty much it. Now, if this unit isn't enough for you and you want something top of the range from Kenwood, I've got you back. Let's look at the next one. Okay, now last but certainly not least, this is the KDC BT960 DAB. So this is their new top of the range multimedia unit. So this is the same spec as the last one I've just seen, uh, but this is more directed towards someone that's looking to do an audio build in their car as well as have a good spec 
singled in stereo. So I'll be completely honest, this isn't gonna benefit the person who's just gonna chuck it in the vehicle and just drive around, not gonna be doing an audio system in their car. This is not any benefit to them over the 760 or even the one before that. Uh, but if this is going to be fitted to an audio vehicle or someone that's running amplifiers for the speakers and the sub, this is definitely something to think about, especially with those 5 volt RCAs. Uh, obviously this has the DAV as well, you get the included antenna, microphone, uh, instruction manuals and obviously the keys for the cage and your DAB and FM inputs in the back. So what's the price for all this? This is £190, so £20 more than the last unit. Okay, so in conclusion, we have four of the 2022 range of Kenwood Singleton head units here. Starting with the BT460, this unit has got all of the features that everything else has. So your Bluetooth streaming, hands-free calls, CD, USB, and AUX. Um, and then going up in the range, you've got the 665U, which uh, rather than just having one pre-out, you have two pre-outs on this one. Going to the 760 DAB, you have the same spec as the last one, but with DAB. And then you have the 960, which has the same spec as the last one, but with three pre-outs and a three-way crossover. So my pick for all of this, personally, because I know I will be doing a full audio system whatever car I've got, I will go for the 960 because I know the outputs on this are very good. You've got a lot of control audio-wise, so this is definitely something I would choose. Now, if you're not gonna be using it for the audio side of things, I think the 760 is probably the best bet. You get the most spec for your money, uh, especially if you're looking for DAB. If you're not, then the 665U would be perfect. Please run through the prices again. You've got the 460 at 110 pounds. You've got the 665 at 120. You've got the 760 at 170 pounds and the 960 at 190. Okay guys, so that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, if there's any other products you'd like to see on the channel, make sure you drop a comment below. But that's it from me. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.